John Michael just kind of take us take us through that last play there. Man, coach drew up a, a nice play for uh, Bryce to drive, and when he shot it, I saw nobody was really looking at me to go box out or anything. So I kind of read the ball a little bit. I saw I was gonna miss towards my direction. I just gave it all I had and just tried to go get it and make a play. Sometimes with little time on the clock, people can can kind of mess that up. How did you kind of stay cool in the moment there? Mm, I honestly don't know, man. I just I just went and didn't think, you know. I just, if the ball come my way, I'm gonna get it and tip it back in. That's all I was thinking. So and I didn't even know I got fouled, honestly, until like, I saw everybody stop. But yeah, I just just try to do what I could for my team and help us win. You you went out a pretty big roar toward the toward the bench after that. What what goes through your mind in a moment like that? It's just you know back against the wall, <clears throat> tie game, just being able to make a play like that. You know, you just have to sometimes let out emotion. You know, I had missed about three free throws, and I was kind of upset because the free throws I missed would have really put us in position to finish the game off early. So once I made the play, I just – it was just picking myself up, you know, because I, I was down about that. But, you know, I was able – I'm glad I was able to do something to help us win. Is that experience for you that kind of prevails there? I mean, veteran guy and – situation like this is that what it is yeah you know with when i know the time is going down and it's a tie game i'm not worried about trying to get back on defense or anything because the ball is, is going to stay on this side you know it was one by one two seconds left when i touched the ball so i just knew just go for the rebound you know if, if it comes my way good if it doesn't good but i was going to go for the ball you know just i say experience taught me that because i've seen a lot of situations where you know guys didn't go for it and the ball landed right in the area that they would have been at you know so I just wanted to just try and make a play. You mentioned that you got upset after missing some free throws. I think at one point, in the early in the second half, you missed two and then missed a three, and Coach pulled you out of the game. You talked to him for a little bit. How do you stay not upset rather than staying, stay, you know, calm and neutral? Mm -hmm. that just remembering the work I put in with those shots. You know, I practice those type of shots, and, you know, they don't go in all the time. You know, it, sometimes it does get frustrating, but I knew I was going to come back in the game. My team still needed me, so I just couldn't think about, you know, the missed shots or the free throws. And Coach Mike and the coaching staff do a good job of keeping us engaged in the game, you know, just uh, giving us confidence to, you know, just make the next one. And that also helps a lot, and my teammates as well. Bryce, I think you hit your first nine shots, had 21 points there pretty quick. What, what were you feeling, especially in that first half? Uh, I was just in the rhythm, man. I just saw the first one go in and just kind of just kept going from there. You know, I got to give credit to my teammates, you know, for finding me and, you know, getting me open and stuff. So another one like, like KB, KB didn't have a, a great night, but just his presence, you know, alone got me a lot of stuff. So I think, you know, just playing off of each other and, and you know, just just taking what the defense gives you. And that's kind of what I did. And I was able to get into a nice rhythm. Bryce, obviously it's unfortunate Avery Scott for the year, but do you think Coach Mike will look to you to step up in these kind of games without Anderson moving forward? Yes, yes, for sure. I've been playing the point more. I got to um, I gotta limit my turnovers. I'm, I have way too many turnovers. But, yeah, Coach Mike has talked to me about that. You know, since Avery's gone, I'm going to have to step up and be, uh, be a little bit more on the one on the ball, a little bit more as I'll be, you know, usually off the ball. But, you know, it's fine with me, you know, whatever our team needs. You guys, What was your team the last play? Uh, Did you see John Michael? Oh, no, I, I didn't see him until the last <laughs> second. I, I, I just, I was locked in. I got the slide. I got to a nice mid range. Felt good coming off. And then I saw, I saw my guy going there and finish it off. So it was, I, was, I was happy. You guys shot 22% from three, 58% from the free throw line. How did, how did you win the game? You just got to gotta find a way, man. You just got to just find a way at the end of the game to have one more point than they do. That's what coach always tells us. You know, it was a rough game, like you said. You just named those numbers, but you know, we just we just found a way. I think that's just where grit and toughness comes in, and you know, making those plays down the stretch that you need to. You guys got in that nods and Q off the bench. You talk about Avery being gone. How much is it going to take a village to kind of replace Avery? And what do you think is the way you guys do? Yeah, for sure. It's definitely going to take a village. You know, Avery was was super important to us, but you know, we we have a lot of good players on the bench that can come in and, and impact the game. You know, that's what you saw today. I got to give a shout out to my guy Nas, man. He, he does that a lot in practice, you know what I'm saying? So to see him go out there and, you know, get that assist on, on a big stage, it was great, man. I was super excited for him, and, you know, hopefully he gets a place some more. This gives you guys about a six-game winning streak. How does this uh, roll over into the next game, or even just in practice? Is there a different kind of energy when you guys get on these runs? We try to stay, you know, humble with it and just remember the big picture. Um, there's still a lot of, of basketball left there. You know, obviously, yes, winning gives us confidence, but in practice, we have the same message. You know, 
just got to keep harping on the fundamentals and, and keep tightening things up. We didn't play our best basketball today, and we know that as a team. So luckily we were able to get the win, but we know moving forward that we have to step it up if we want to accomplish what we want to accomplish. So, you know, the winning does help, you know, it gives guys an edge uh, going into next games. It gives us confidence as a team, but we're not going to be satisfied until we get to the end. John Mike, when was your last game winner? Uh, I think it was my sophomore year. I believe I believe we was playing, I think it was Gardner Webb. I honestly can't remember off the top of my head, but I, I believe it was my sophomore year. No, 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 no. It was my junior year. We was playing UNC Asheville uh, on family weekend at High Point. And I had shot a three, but I got fouled. And I made three free throws with like point three seconds left. And I made all three of them. So, yeah. Bryce, what did you see in the second half that Tech did for you defensively that they didn't do in the second half? In the um, first half? They were loaded up a little bit more, um, especially on the pick and rolls. They, they would switch it early. Uh, like in the first half, I was able to get downhill on their big man because he was in drop coverage. So that second half, they switched it and just have a guard coming off. So it was just a switch. So I wasn't able to get it downhill as easy. So I think that was, that was probably the main adjustment that they made. What did they do score against Caleb? They were packed in. They were packed into the paint. They had like, they had a dude behind them, a dude guarding them, and a dude coming to trap. So I, and I, that's what I'm saying. Like, KB playing at the level he's been playing at, you know, helped me be able to get shots because they're so focused on him. And, and now it'll, it'll bounce, and then that's how I think that's how we play off each other. Anything else? All righty,